translator here to translate everything I say in a different language. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> Welcome after, uh, what was it, two weeks? I think it was two weeks. That's, no, I think it was two weeks. Oh, yeah, three weeks, I think. Because this is also two weeks. Yes. And so then, what is that, four weeks? So, four uh, weeks. after this little hiatus... Welcome back to the Husky by Bush. This is, as you can see, Ariel. And as you can see, my son. We have matching costumes. Yes, it's amazing. Yes. That's why you see me. My wifey. My queen. The owner of this thing. This. Yes. This is taken. Unbelievable. But yes. <laughs> Someone took Someone took that thing. <laughs> well, how was your trip? It was nice. It was exactly what the doctor ordered. Uh, uh, what doctor? Mike. Uh, God. Uh, me. Uh, <laughs> uh, things that I realized that I did not miss from VR, the weather. It was 91 degrees plus humidity, 98% humidity. So oh, it felt degrees. like I was walking the Sahara Desert on a daily basis. The moment I, I the doors open from the airport and I actually breathe uh, exterior air, it was no air. It was <laughs> suffocating. <laughs> and uh, it was just strictly, once I got into a vehicle, it was just strictly AC. Like, never lower the windows, never, unless you just wanted that hot, hot breeze to come in and suffocate you more. Yes. Uh, I did not miss the, you know, uh, electricity outages, uh, <laughs> because uh, the night that we went to the first, the first night on our Airbnb, uh, the Airbnb, the area, where, well, it wasn't the area, it was Santiago in full. Uh, it was like a Christmas tree. You know, you get the idea. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, uh, the greatest thing is that we had the washer and dryer uh, running in the Airbnb as well. So, uh, no refunds. <laughs> hey, if we, if we messed up that machine, uh, what can I tell you? It wasn't us, it was uh, whoever run, you know, the Con Edison uh, counterpart of VR. <laughs> or, or, or how in this neck of woods it's called Orange Blossom. I think we added ourselves a little bit of Orange Blossom. But anyway, that's me here. Uh, didn't miss uh, the weather and didn't miss uh, the problems with electricity. Didn't miss my wife, didn't miss my daughter. But we got us, uh, I think they got a stuffing out of me. Uh, these couple of weeks because they they had to they had to deal with this uh, uh, for two weeks straight. You didn't have to. No, my daughter definitely did. Uh, she showed love every day. That's good. Wife was like, oh, I remember now. Oh <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it's this you. was like a, a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah, it was you. I mean, my daughter. I mean. I, the plan was I wasn't planning on driving over there. Uh, I wasn't planning on driving. I was like, well, you know, just like the computer, I'm on foot. And my dad, first thing out of the gate, he was like, so here's the keys and uh, good luck. I was like, why are you giving me the keys to your vehicle? He's like, no, you need you need a ride. That's what I mean. No, but what about you? There's, there's two other vehicles in the house. I don't need a car. Forget about me. So you just yeah yeah, go ahead right. So uh, so I was riding and another thing I did not miss, VR traffic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which if you don't know, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> it's it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's like it's all your hopes and dreams, sarcastically speaking. Like all at all the sarcasm. It just sarcasm. Mount Everest of sarcasm right here, Abby, to you. Uh, it is hell. <laughs> it is pure hell. It is, it, it is bad. It is bad. Uh, I mean, I started, I, I'm trying to be a good Christian boy, composed, 
And like five minutes into driving, I was like, you know, beep. <laughs> what the? Beep. And my, and my daughter was, she didn't miss a beat. She was like, first class one in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Who's counting it? Who's counting it? And my daughter was like, yeah, it's been like all day. <laughs> you mean your cousin? Who was, <laughs> what you talking about? I'm a good Christian boy. I'm a good Christian boy. I don't never cuss. <laughs> I can't do it, but anyway. And Paul said, anyway. <laughs> you know, you have fun with the girl. Yeah, the we girl went to an Airbnb. I mean, because I, I, they wanted to go to a resort. And I was like, hell to the no, because of the aforementioned traffic. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, we're going to get a compromise on this. We're going to go to Airbnb in the city. We just need a place that has a pool. Like, you, you all want to get, uh, you know, dip yourself into water. There's a bunch of Airbnbs here that have pools. So, that's a compromise. They're like, but then we have to cook. I was like, and I missed your cooking, so what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, get to it. Like, like, like this food ain't going to cook itself. <laughs> I do. And that's when she was like, uh, kind of what like happened? Like what happened? What happened? You hear the audio? No. I hear you. You can't hear me? I can't hear you. All of a sudden, the audio on my end left. Really? Can you hear yourself? I can hear you and them. That's weird. Hmm. Well, it's picking it up, so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count this as it's still going. So. But yeah, so she was like, oh, this is kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, get, I kept getting her. It's Beautiful reminder. She's like, well, well, why are we setting up this trip again? <laughs> I'm like, too late. Paperwork's just submitted. Everything's paid for. Too late. No take backs. No take backs. And my daughter's like, yeah. <laughs> no take backs. <laughs> so she's like, she's like, you know, have you seen Star Trek Next Generation? No clue what that is. I never heard of it. Okay. You know Captain Picard. You never heard of him? Captain Picard. No, but this is what I know. Okay. Uh, so you don't know uh, 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 William Riker? Okay. William Riker is his uh, first uh, first in command after him. So he always, always holds the number one. So Emma's my number one. <laughs> I'm Picard. Emma's number one. It, it, reminds me, it always reminds me of uh, you see the wedding singer, right? Mm-hmm. And then he was singing that song. Somebody kill me, please. Oh, yeah. And the guy in the back just goes, Have you seen this guy? 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 So I can see Emma going, Have you seen this guy? Have you seen this guy? <laughs> That's what I see her in the background doing. Basically. <laughs> that was spot on uh, 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 illustration of uh, what uh, the business is going on in the house. All this to say, uh, my girls are coming here soon. Yeah. So this nightmare is finally almost over. Uh, they're excited. You know, all jokes aside, they're excited. They're happy. Uh, the wife is happy, too. I mean, well, uh, apparently she misses this uh, steak puff marshmallow now. <laughs> <laughs> well, then maybe you should have married the Buddha for all this time. Oh, I'm... I'm my dark side in me is just begging that it happens on February. <laughs> You're an ass. The dark side of me is like, Lord, make it so. February or March. Make it so. Make it so. I just want them to know. Because they were completely like, I had the fan in full blast. When, uh, uh, By the way, I took like 15 showers a day. Because the moment I stepped out of the shower, I started drenched in sweat because of the humidity. And there's no AC in, 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 in our house over there. There's no AC. So, so you you're just not used to DR weather. No, I've I been uh, completely acclimated. I mean, I mean, at the end, I, my body started to adapt again. My body, like, started to remember, like... It's like, oh, yeah. This is like, yeah but it was, like, too late now. But because of, uh, my body was like, oh, I started to remember how this was. But then my brain was like, too late, son. You already, you got to go and take a flight tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, you, you got the flight tomorrow, son. Like, you, 
Forget about this. <laughs> this information is not in void now. <laughs> We're just going to forget this day. Um, yeah. He used to play black with men in black, and we're just going to continue going. Yeah, 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 because now you're just going to go back, because guess what? As soon as you come back to the state side, the, the cold weather will be waiting for you. Well, it wasn't bad. In, in the morning, it's been really bad. Yeah, yeah. No, but when I got here, it was 70 degrees. No, that's a, so it was, it was okay. I mean, I brought my hoodie just in case, but when I saw the, the weather like 71 degrees, I was like, ah, I didn't even know to put it on. Yeah, I, you leave with it. yeah I, I left with a hoodie on. And then as soon as I stepped land over there, I was like, get this thing off of me. <laughs> get this abomination off of my body. I do not want to. I mean, I, I, I think I don't know. I was like 15 pounds the moment I, I set foot outside. It's like crashed in with sweat. Like, oh. And then walking around with sweatpants. Oh, Lord Jesus. I, I was cooked. I was cooked. The moment I step outside, man, it's cool. So it's hell hot over there in the air right now. It's hell hot. Yeah, you're in a long winter. Fall. Yeah, no, they, they have no... Desert. I, I, I saw somebody complain. I was like, isn't it supposed to be fall? Like you and DR. There are no seasons in the air. It's, there's hot and hell. That's it. <laughs> it's your seasons. Those are the two seasons in the air. Hot and hell. And guess which one we're at right now? Hell level five. <laughs> different levels of oh yeah, oh yeah. Like the, the, the warmer you get to the gates of hell. <laughs> it reminds me of like fluffy. Like there's five, there's five levels of flu- of um, fluffiness. It was like I forget what it was, but it was like the last one was like. <laughs> it was like <laughs> That's crazy. Oh and. Since we're both cat lovers, uh, I finally met the two kitties at home, uh, uh, Benji and Banchan. Oh, yeah, I did see them. I did see them. Yeah. So, obviously, Benji's my favorite. <laughs> He's the fluffier one of the two. Speaking of fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> He's the fluffier one. Because, I mean, this cat never knew me. I mean, I never had any contact with him, never was close to him. Yeah. And out of the gate, he just saw me and was like, oh, you, oh, we buzz, okay. He started rubbing his face over my my feet, and, and then when we were laid in bed, he was just like pushing his face over my stomach, which is very wide. <laughs> he was burying his face in there. He was like, mm, I like you, and I'm like, oh, you're my favorite now. You're my boy. And I just called him my baby. I thought, you're my baby. You're my baby boy. You're my baby boy. And the other one was like, who's this fat? Who's this fat guy? What's he doing here? What's he doing in my space? Who's this guy? I don't like him. I don't, I don't like it. I don't know. But every morning he was like, food! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food! Well, now you like me, huh? Food! And I woke up like at 6 a.m. I'm like, okay, dude, I'm going to get you food. Yeah. you damn right you're going to give me my food. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. You're going to get me my food. Where's the other one? Yo, all the one, come here. Dude, going to get food. Oh, you slow? I'm going to eat your food too. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> That is the most hood cat ever. <laughs> that cat is hood. I mean, he just he just went inside the house like, where's my food? All right, I'm bouncing. Peace, deuces, out of here. Thanks for it. And the other one, Benji, my favorite, he was like, I like you, human. I'm gonna stay here for a while. I'm gonna, you gonna stay in bed? Okay, because you know, my wife and daughter, or my wife was at work, my daughter went to school. So the mornings I was pretty much by myself. So every morning the cat was looking at me. So, so it's just so you and me then? And I'm like, yeah, pretty much. So I'm just going to chill out with you here then. I'm just going to, where you going to sit? You over there? Okay, I'll sit over here then. He just looked at me like, what are we going to do? Okay, uh, you want to give me some food? You want some? I'm always hungry. <laughs> I'm a cat. I eat and sleep. That's all I do. Well, I do number two, one and number two as well. Yeah, that's cool. But and now they learn how to do it outside the house. They, they, they did not. Uh, oh Lord Jesus! Oh Lord Jesus! Oh Lord Jesus! Cause that cat pee stinketh, and we ain't even talking about number two. 
Oh, that cat, that, that is a powerful stench. I mean, they left a rug, is a rug that my wife uses because, you know, cat, if you if you have no experience with having cats, they leave a lot of hair all over the place. And like any spot that they like to dwell in, and, and God be with you, you have dark uh, 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 black t shirts and, sh and, and uh, any garments that are dark. And you just see that thing riddled with their, their fur all over the place. Uh, so they and my wife bought a white rug because of that problem. So, okay, if they camouflage it because both cats are kind of whitish. Not right wing. Anyway. <laughs> no politics. <laughs> no, <didn't>. Anyway. <laughs> I said no, dude. Oh, he had had his honorable mention. What can I say? Gotta give him, you gotta give the man his honorable mentions. Anyways, uh, what? Remember, the, the audio went off on this thing. Imagine yeah, Vince. Yeah. Did he, did their parties clash together. You see, I, I, I don't know if Vinnie Mac is gonna make it to the, the to the pound. I'm talking about jail. In case people misunderstood me. <laughs> I'm about to say, just imagine their parties, man. It's just... Well, Vinny didn't like want to share the wealth. Like, did he want to? <laughs> did he just want to like? He was like, well, I, well, I took some. Anybody don't take some. <laughs> Vinny was like, nah. Mickey, and we talking about Mickey, by the way. You know, our benefactor. <laughs> well, Vinny's making. By the way, speaking of Vinny Mac, did you finally get to see the, the whole Netflix? I haven't even started. Well, I saw the whole six episodes. It was pretty much travel waters for me. You know, I've been a wrestling fan since forever, and all the Vinny Mac stories is it's well known for all wrestling fans from ages. Uh, uh, all the Vinny Mac trial and errors. And we all pretty much knew that he couldn't keep it. You know. Where it belongs. And uh, you know all the all the uh, innuendos and all the stuff that happened in the past, in the eighties, in the nineties, two thousands. Man was busy, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, not just booking wrestling matches and you know making it, it turning a billion dollar empire and within in WWE. He was also busy, you know. Uh, and stuff that we can go with it because we're good Christian boys. <laughs> we usually would go with more graphic descriptions of certain things yeah, that adults do. Oh, yeah. John Holm. Yeah, no, as soon as the allegation, because the, they were recording the, the documentary like in 2023, 2022, 2023. Yeah, so as soon as things hit the fan, he was like, deuces, disappeared, retired, quote unquote, unretired, uh, came back with the villain mustache. And then he had to leave again because, yeah, yeah the, the villain mustache. It just looks plain, plain weird on his face. Just plain weird. And, uh, uh, well, uh, he is now allegedly planning to do his own version of the facts. Like, you need, like, like, we're, any of us going to believe you. Like, you're running the show. And he's all, he already hired a producer to do it, which is Kevin Dunn, the guy who used to be the producer in WWE until Triple H and the new regime uh, let his behind go. Because he was number one guy, you know, one mysterious guy, the Vinnie Mac, 
was the number one moon moon guy. He's just wasting his time with fucking Bowhead. Like, look, it's I don't remember who the guy who said it, but he I, he was right. Like, you won, you won, you won. In life or the trial? No, like in life, he yeah, won. Of course. Like, there's nothing left to prove. Like, why do you want to go to the court of public opinion now after you've already been martyrized, like, killed a thousand times over? You want to go through this, uh, uh, go through this thing? Like, dude, if you did it, you did it. If you didn't, well, the, the, the truth will come out, right? The truth eventually will come out, but, you know, it, it's looking like you pretty much did it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much... And the sad thing is that not everyone that was involved with everything is coming out. Like, he only... Kind no, of... I mean, look, the, the, the thing is that he's made a lot of people uh, millions. No, one thing doesn't wash the other. Wrong, don't make I understand that part, but I'm just saying the people that are hush hush that are not speaking out is because they are persons of interest. There are people that are like, how do I bite the hand that fed me? The man that made me who I am. Bite it. Well, Bret Hart doesn't have that problem. Bret Hart said, well, if he did it, he's a piece of you know what. Bret Hart can't even forgive Goldberg. So don't even bring that man home. Well, I'm just saying that of all the guys, he's the one that keeps it more real. Also, your your favorite wrestler in the world keeps it real, Punky Brewster. He's like, yeah, if he did it, then that's him. I did tell you when I downloaded him. Oh. I you murdered him? It was Vader. He was my favorite new you wrestler him. on the, you on the him. game. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, he was you murdered him. Threw him off the cage? Cage, through the cage, through the table, through the table, burning table. Nice, nice. Um, you got a lot of years of therapy out of it. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Vader was the only person I wanted to use to kill. By the way, uh, it, it is now very clear that he is going to be the heir apparent to NXT. So once Shawn Michaels decides to no longer be running NXT, uh, he uh, uh, Punk is going to take care of NXT because he already gained the trust of all the wrestlers that are in NXT, and he's he's going every Tuesday for all the tapings at NXT. He's helping out the training for the new wrestlers. He's part of uh, of uh, uh, Shawn Michaels' team of. Developing the wrestlers, he's helping them. So he's. I'm not defending him. I'm just saying what is being reported. Okay, I'm not saying that. Oh, he's changed. He's found a new leaf in life. Whatever his motives are, his motive. We can say his motives are just securing his future. Let's just say that his motives right now are securing his future, getting his future ready so that he has little generations of CM Punk's. Uh, and his family, whenever he decides to reproduce, although he is in his mid 40s, his wife is late 30s. I don't know if they, if they, they want to pursue that route now. That depends on them. Uh, that's their business because that's not that I'm checking their, yeah, their, how many eggs she has left. And if they want to reproduce, it's just not my business. Uh, what I'm just saying is that he's securing his financial future. And apparently he wants to still be part of the wrestling business, at least in the giving part business, which is like, if you want to see historically speaking, there were no more egotistical guys than Triple H and Shawn Michaels back in the day, especially Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels was about himself, nobody else. Well, more in the early stage, the first part of his career than the second one. The second one, he was a little bit more giving. But now look at those two guys. Now they are the most giving guys. They're the ones that are giving chances to the other guy, to the other people. Yeah, but Michael took his chances and it messed up 
that one or twice, and it was okay. This guy, it's on strike four. Uh, well, with AEW, for sure he'll never come back. For sure. Yeah, but it's like... But hell froze. So it's, I mean, so far, well, I, we can't speak so, so soon yet. Because it was smooth sailing with AEW for a year. With AEW for a year, it was like, it was, it was all sweet. It was nice. Then a year happened, and then all hell started breaking loose. <laughs> so we're we're getting close to the year mark now. So you know, set your calendars, boys and girls. <laughs> Survivor Series is around the corner. It's gonna be a year, and you know, no Phil Brooks can come back, <laughs> and you know, do his thing. <laughs> I don't know. Here's me being a a a a. a Dumb Mark thinking that maybe, maybe giving a little itty, itty bit of, you know, uh, benefit of a doubt that maybe he's changed a little bit his ways and, and, and we'll do, and we'll do right by people. But what do I know? What do I know? I don't know the dude. Uh, I just hope that you know, for the business, it's everything is run done, uh, run smoothly. I, I do know this: AEW, uh, WWE is not AEW, and this is not being run by a mark. It's not being run by a fan. This is a corporation, and I know that even how he might feel, if he tries to swing those kind of ways like he did back in AEW. They ain't gonna fly in these in these uh, here waters. They ain't gonna fly. So I guess that's part of the reason why he's in his quote unquote best behavior. Just hoping nothing else. Well, again, it took a year for, for him to show his colors in AEW. So Survivor Series is around the corner. So give it time. Give it time. Give it time. I'll be there. <laughs> so he said, like, "Told you. I told you." I told you, there he is. There he is. I told you. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> You're just scratching. And killing, like, show your colors. I know you want to. I know you want to show their colors. I know you want to show little people how you really feel. Oh, no, we love them. Mm -hmm. You're just dying for them to expose themselves. So, uh, we already covered our favorite subjects, which is Makia and Punky. Oh, yeah, Punky is my favorite subject. Mm -hmm. We already covered our favorite subjects. More on the sports end? Oh, one thing that I want to say that happened in VR, we want you to be able to just be the goose. We won't say the third time because then he'll show up. We it was enjoyable. We don't want him to show up. No. It was enjoyable. My daughter liked it. My wife didn't. <laughs> because she's afraid. I know. Just, uh, just leave it like that. Okay. Yeah. You want to survive. Well, then she's coming here soon. Yeah. Uh, she's a scary cat. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> burn that bridge. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> I'm going to get it now. Anyway. I try to save him. I love my cup. <laughs> Look at the camera. I try to save him. I try. He couldn't. He just couldn't keep it in. Just couldn't keep his mouth shut. Couldn't keep his mouth shut. Just couldn't keep his mouth shut. There you go. No, applause for me. She comes here. Yeah, when you see me with a black eye. <laughs> Did you see that? Um, it's been all over Instagram. It was um, a woman somewhere from the Middle East. They had like that boxing thing, and she reached back and oh, yeah. freaking hit it hard. And then you see her husband with a black eye cleaning the TV, and then in the background he's bangs it up and he's sweeping the floor. <laughs> You're gonna be you gonna learn today. Oh. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna learn today. 
<laughs> That's exactly what I thought when I saw that. Like, yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you learned today. And this other funny Thou shalt not mess with it with, with a woman sworn. Yeah, yeah, those days she just kept on escalating. She just hit that thing and the number just went. Boom. He was a black artist. Yes, there. Yes, there. We're not. We're, we're in, not. In TV, he's smiling and he's like, she looks so good. And I, I better see one. my face, uh, 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 my fracture, my face in that thing, right? This now. is other ones that they go, the woman goes, if you're in danger and you're around the person, just do this. So in the background, there's the boyfriend or husband or whatever is going like this, and she, they look back and, and he's going, and they go like this. And then she looks back and starts chasing him out the door. There's, there's a bunch of them. It's crazy. Yeah, that reminds me of a Cantinfa movie that I saw back in the day from the 70s. That they were called, they was a cop and they called for a domestic abuse. Mm-hmm. And it turns out it was the dude that called the cops because he was the, he was the one that was getting <laughs> beat up. And, and Cantinfa was like, I can't believe this. It was because it, woman like, like you can't even pull a soup on top of her head. And she was and she was beating the bejesus out of this dude. The dude had his face all marked up. And he was like, I can't believe that you be hitting your husband. He's like, I'll get tried beating him. And she was like, I would like to see you try. Like, like in front of you? I'm like, yes, I would like to see you try. She beat the daylights out of him right in front of him. He's so, like, I can't believe you did it in front of me. I want you to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so I get tired of it. Well, get tired. Let me see. And again, I mean, just knocked the daylights out of the dude. And she was like, so now what? I said, no, no, no. He learned his lesson. And uh, we out. <laughs> Deuces. Uh, Deuces. And then his, okay. and his partner was like, we're supposed to talk to the next guy. You want to get beat too? Let's get out of here. <laughs> like, you, you see this woman in shimmy business? Like, you want to get beat? Nah. I'm out of here, deuces. <laughs> wow. <sighs> yeah, well, do you have any news on that Nikki Bella situation? Uh, the dude countersued. Yeah, I know that. And it was saying that he, she abused him. <laughs> That's believable. Well, what I heard, I don't know if you heard, was that he didn't get picked for the season to answer with the stars. So he had... He went to go work in construction down there. Ever since then, he was like, I'm too good to be working this job, and blah, blah, blah. And he just snapped. And that's what provoked him. That's provoked him to be like an a hole. And that's when it ended. Yeah, because that justifies being beating a woman. Yeah, that and, justifies. Um, it. Supposedly, like, like little things like set him off. Like, just what she was feeding, you know, her son for breakfast or how, like, how Look, she did it and things like that. Like, little things. This is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I, I know. I don't know if it's true. Look, or whatever. my, ex- what I, I, I'm, I've obviously not been in that road. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe none of us has been. Uh, never been an abuser of women. But you know, uh, no, I haven't. Uh, but what I'm saying is that if she felt the need to bounce after he just snapped once, then he must have put a number on her. Well, we don't know if it's once either. I mean, no, I mean, we don't. The, the main thing is that we're not privy of all the details, we're not privy of all the details. Right now, it's a he, a she said, he said, right now. They'll have their day in court, but the fact that she felt the need to divorce him. Well, I think that had to do a lot with Bree too, because she was like, "You need to get away from me." Like if he's like. Yeah, I mean, so I would recommend. I would totally recommend that too. Like if you feel that your life is threatened. She obviously knows more what's going on than we do. So if she's recommending her sister to divorce her husband. And then obviously there's more to the story than that. Exactly. Exactly. So, I mean, uh, if she was truly getting physically abused, I don't think that's a good idea to stick around and find out if he's willing to complete the mission. 
to say to say it put it put it that way. So yeah, I mean, uh, I'm I'm not in favor, obviously, of putting hands on someone else. No one should be putting hands on nobody in the world, but especially a man and a woman. Yeah, I mean that's just plain abuse. Well, the other way too is abuse too. It's just that we, you know, the different like we don't see it that much. Mm-hmm. So everyone's eyes like when well, you shouldn't be hitting a woman, but a woman shouldn't really be hitting a guy either. There shouldn't be no physical abuse in that department on either side. So that's what we can say about that. But hopefully she's good. Uh, nothing life threatening. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this was for the best. I mean, some people you just don't know where you got, where you're getting until you get inside and see the mess that is. But that's why you should do your little background checks on people before you decide to tie the knot. You know. Well, let's go on a good note. The Yankees and the Mets made it to. Congratulations to the Mets fans. I mean, you you guys are having a, a, a comeback. Okay. Let's not get too overboard. Okay? okay. I was giving them congratulations. We don't need to be like, whoo. No, I'm just saying, look, all things the same. Congratulations, though. Congratulations well, to the New York sports baseball. Exactly. From At least we're not filled up. To one. <laughs> to make it. Hi, Phillies. <laughs> How y'all feeling? Y'all feeling good? No? Anyway. <laughs> From making it to the round before the World Series. Yankees yeah. take on. Now, the they, they got a big bone to chew with, with, with the Dodgers. So well, that... they have a big bone to chew with the Dodgers. And the Yankees got the Guardians. Which I think the last time they faced the Guardians in the playoffs was 2022. And but... They're there. Mm-hmm. I think. Do you think there's a possibility there'll be a Subway Series? If there's on paper, there's... right now, on paper. on paper. Remove emotions aside. No, I, I mean, do I think there's a possibility? Yeah, but do I think it's gonna happen? Probably not. I'm kind of in the same boat. And if they both make it there. In all honesty, as a Yankee fan, I'm scared. Hmm. Because this Cinderella run that the Mets have been the best baseball team since June, and they're hitting just all the right buttons at the same time, Yeah, that's scary as a Yankee fan. Yeah, they're, they're on a different different other fuel, a fuel right now than all the other teams. I mean, just like just like when the Guardians were facing the Tigers, the Tigers basically were selling off half their team at the, at the, at the trade deadline. The trade deadline. Mm-hmm. And they still made it as a wild card team. Beat the Astros. They mm-hmm. beat the Astros okay. to make it to the next round when they faced Cleveland. Okay. So, yeah. This is going to be crazy. Well, the way I see it, like, removing emotions aside, either way New York wins. <laughs> well. In a point, to a point, to a point. But here's the thing. If the Mets lose in this round, they were like, no, they were never supposed to make it here. Yeah, I mean, it, it, was, a, I, 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 it was a Herculean effort. It was a Herculean effort. If they if they drop now, but the Dodgers ain't gonna be an easy layup. No, 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 no. Dodgers is not gonna be an easy layup. Now, if we if the Yankees go versus the Dodgers, that also will not be an easy layup. No, um, me personally think the Yankees pitching wise is better than any other team that's still left. Hmm. Um. So we're pretty much here. It's a given that the Yankees are just going to go to World Series. I'm not giving them a given because... I mean, it's going to be a hard fought. Cleveland is 
is still a good team and they always give those problems and they're always they got those hitters that put the bat on the ball and just they don't quit. Mm-hmm. Um, the Mets are too. I mean, the Dodgers, you know, they have a good bullpen, but I mean, they had everyone has troubles. It's going to be a good. It's going to be a good se- uh, postseason. Season. It's going to be a good postseason. I mean, tomorrow's going to be crazy. I mean, I got you got the Yankees on. I believe you got the Mets game two because game one's tonight. Mm-hmm. And you got the Yankees tomorrow. So you got yeah. Jets, Mets, and Yankees all in one like yeah one night. So hey, shout out to the the Knicks uh, with uh, Bodega Cat now. Oh yeah, I forgot we haven't reported since that trade. Yeah, New York Knicks traded Julius Randle, um, Dante DiVincenzo, which was a big part of our group last year, um, getting us to the playoffs. They traded mm-hmm. them in the. Carl they, made, Towns. they made a bunch of different other moves that equaled the, the amount of money and everything that needed to be included to to uh, Minnesota for um, Carl Anthony Towns, who was a Nick fan growing up. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, there were some Nick fans that had some reservations over that trade, especially over those two because those two were so instrumental to getting the team where it got to the postseason. Yeah, I mean, they didn't want to let go of those two. Like I said, I was I looked at the trade, and it took me a while to actually be like, mm. okay, this made a little sense. We kind of filled the center position. With I mean, I know we're, we're in preseason mode right now, but so far, so good. The team is clicking. I mean, you got Bridges traded in with Brooklyn, which the Knicks and, and the Nets don't really trade. It's almost like the Mets and the, and the Yankees. They don't really trade. Mm. But somehow, some way, we were able to pull off the trade on the Cal Bridges, which is another wing that can defend and shoot the three-pointer like it's nothing. Like, so, in, like in short version, what we're all saying, like, this is turning out to be a good year for the for New York. Well, the, the Knicks right now have the third best chance of winning it all. I mean, so, I think it goes... New York, I mean, compared to last year, New York is banging. Yeah. We should be... If every, on paper, we're good. On paper, we should do some damage. Yeah. And on paper, we should get out of the first round and out of the second round. And should be making it to... I mean, you know, it's still in the playoffs. too damn early to talk because, you know, things can happen. Oh, God course. willing, everything, oh, everything ends well. A lot can happen in between them, but we don't have... Mitchell Robinson until January-ish because he had that ankle surgery the ankle surgery at the end of the season that hurt him in the playoffs last year. So so getting Towns kind of helps fill in that void and then when Robinson comes back okay. and he's at full strength. We're getting that Dominican power. Yeah, we can move Robinson to the five, move, move Towns to the, down to the power forward and we should be we should be really deep on the bench too. Well, so. so everybody just shoots now from everywhere. Oh, Tom, Carl Anthony Towns is one of the best big shooting big men in the league. Yeah, he shoots from anywhere. Did you see that first three he made in the postseason? Yes. I mean, in the preseason. Yes. It's just like Thornton was like, "Okay, here's the ball." He was like, oh, "Okay." okay. And right. it was, and it wasn't even like a hit. Net, I mean, net, they hit the backboard, hit the ramp. It just no, literally just nothing but net. Yeah, just, just nothing but net. I saw it. I was like, oh, so he just straight up came home. That's like, yeah, he, he was, was like, oh, I've always been here. Yeah, I've always been here. So he's just fitting in like nothing. Yeah. So, so I mean, hey, I take anything good that's happening in New York. We New York peoples. New York fans, I mean, right now I'm representing, uh, you know, since I was in DR, I'm representing my DR team. But, uh, by the way, speaking of that, you know that there was a person, uh, which will remain unnamed, from my church, that requested me to buy a Lise baseball cap. Now, for you uninitiated to what is the Aguilas and Lise rivalry, 
Picture Yankees versus Boston plus add the Giants versus Patriots. Mix that, blend that together and add more spice of hate and animosity and even add a tad bit of religious uh, religious undertones. And you'll get something close to the flavor of what is an animosity between the Aguilas and the Saints. Obviously, if you can watch this video, you can see that I am Aguilas through and through. So imagine the blasphemy that was asking of moi to buy Alisei's baseball cap. Now, if you were, a, you are obviously a Yankees fan. Obviously. Mm -hmm. yeah, obviously. But you have the uniform on. Like you got Judge right now on your chest. Anyways. If somebody don't ask you, can you give me a Boston a Red Sox a baseball cap? What would be your natural, honest to God reaction? You want the natural. Uh, oh. In Christian war terms. Mm -hmm. Keep it PG. Keep it PG. Like, I asked, like, people that I know from the R, I was like, and I told them my predicament, and he was like, okay, no problem. Buy it. I'm like, really? Yeah. Just keep, put it inside the bag, go to your driveway, put it right under the wheel, uh, uh, under, the, uh, uh, under the wheel of your car, and go back and forth three or four times and then just deliver to him in that condition. And when he asked what's wrong with the cabinet, it came that way. I mean, I have a better way of doing it, but it's not really No, but we, yeah. we're keeping it PG. That's yeah. right. We're just keeping it PG because the other options would be things we can't say on the air. Well, you have cats, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. That involves, you know, fecal matter. <laughs> Urine. <laughs> Benji, urine. Uh, Banchan is the Banji. one that has the more potent. <laughs> no, what was the one that I liked you? Benji. Benji. Here, here's a nice little gift. I'll be like, Benji, come here, boy. Come here, you cutie little boy. You, you want see? me to keep feeding you? I'm like, look, I bought your business. new litter box. <laughs> Do your business. I bought your new litter box. Like, go ahead. Enjoy. Can you bring it back to your friend? <laughs> He was like, you go. oh, yes, I can recognize this. Is this a litter box? <laughs> Let me do all my business here. All of my business. Oh, my goodness. All of it. Non-stop for three days. Oh, Just give me uh, lots and lots of milk. <laughs> give me lots and lots of milk and raw food. Let me handle my business. Just leave this beautiful French thing odor that is the most ungodly smell of the God's green air. Okay, well, <laughs> I think we cover our bases here. You think? Yeah. You think? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for viewing and listening. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one of these, especially a live one. Uh, but Let's keep watching shorts, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, thank you for those shorts. Uh, over 500 views in some of them. We even got a record of View on our um, the podcast. Oh like, yeah, viewing. I think we we were. I think we were kept topping off like at like ten or ten or eleven. And I think we were up to like fourteen or fifteen from oh. three weeks ago. I mean, this is a podcast that has zero promotion, zero promotion, zero uh, uh, zero sponsors. We just this is just word of mouth and people just finding us for like happenstance and and whatnot. So uh, thank you for all of you who are viewing, listening. Thank you for all of you finding this weird spot in the internet as something that you may call entertaining. <laughs> I mean, we're just shooting the breeze here. Yeah, that's our. We talk about this off camera too. Yeah, that's, that's our best content. Like yeah, no, and, and obviously the version outside the camera is not so Christian. Right? No, but, <laughs> not, but we're saying like. How many of these that we did that we scripted or had subjects written down and it just felt too like pushing? Yeah, back. it didn't feel organic. It didn't feel organic. Like we had to talk about it because we thought about talking about it. Yeah, I mean, right now we're this is we, more, we're going through without it without a net. We basically record these things without a net. Yeah, we just say, oh, we need it is what it is, or we're just doing this at home. Yeah, that's the only thing we talk about now, and then we just. Yeah. Whatever. Now, in this case, home. since it's been a while since we've seen each other, also he had to pick up some gifts. 
By the way, I want to thank your wife again for this beautiful cup. You see that, baby? Yeah. That I didn't know nothing about until I walked into exactly. this, into HQ this thank you. afternoon. Thank you for clearing that up. You, 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 you're listening and hearing. Listen, you, you're ready? hearing and you're reviewing this, right? You're viewing it, right? You, you ready? You're ready? You're hearing it, right? 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 You really right? Right? Stuff a hole by calling her whatever you called her before. I'm not even going to repeat it. I'm not saying anything. Okay. You really dug yourself I'm just justified right now. So I feel justified. I just want to say. I did not spoil anything. You didn't spoil anything. Yes, yeah, see, my reputation has been restored. I just want to say thank you again for this beautiful cup and my metas from the ER. So the green ones. The green ones, yes. If you know, you know. All oh, these those are delicious. Um, if you know, you know. And he has enough to become a grandfather and give them to his grandchildren. No, <laughs> those won't last long. Damn. <laughs> I pop them in like those uh those cheek lids that oh they have. Oh, my Lord. That, that, like, if you all saw the bag, you'd be like, really, son? Anyway. You, you're pushing with diabetes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. I knew nothing about it except that it had our old our logo on it. So, See? thank you again. See? Emma, you could have taken as many candies as you want. You shouldn't have oh, listened to your dad. Oh, my baby girl. You shouldn't have never listened to your dad. I'm a sharer, okay? I got nieces oh, and nephews, so I share a lot. My baby girl. But T Public Store, thirty five percent off. I got a text message right before we came on. Uh huh. It's still there. It's still there. It's go get your some. So go get your. Go get your some. Our, yeah, yeah. our our logo here. Yeah, go there. get your shirts, some. sweaters. It's get, you know, it's the fall season now. Go go get your some. It's baseball. Well, it's it's all soon to be Dominican baseball season. Oh yeah, you got such a season soon. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you got all the team dr teams there. So. Uh, uh, hopefully that will start kicking in because <laughs> all the loyalists will be like, ooh, T-shirts. <laughs> They're like, ooh, the La Saila, ooh. The other team you should not be mentioned again. Because... All the teams are up yeah, there. Yeah, 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 All the teams are up there. We, I mean, we, 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 we're not, we, we may not be fans of those teams, but we are fans of money. <laughs> <laughs> we are that we are. we are. That we are. We are fans of money, and we will take from any team. Any who. Your social media. <laughs> oh yeah, that area of the ran. And Johnny Bull four two six. And also uh Husky uh, uh Husky Rabu pod dot com. And what's the one for the Instagram? The Husky Rabu on media for the uh, and then that area well. Mm-hmm. So anything else you wanna add? No. Before we go on another rant. No, that'll be it. Alright. Everyone have a good week. And peace out. Deuces. Behave. Not like you. No, dude. <laughs>